Susceptance and admittance are the two terms that you will find in AC circuits. Are these terms difficult to understand? The answer is no. Is there any practical use of this term? The answer is yes. In this video, you will understand the term susceptance and admittance along with conductance in the easiest way. And I'll also tell you the practical situation where these terms can be used. For that, make sure you watch the video till the end. Let us first talk about the conductance. When we add a resistance in series with each other, the total circuit resistance increases, which offers more opposition to the flow of current. And as a result, the current in the circuit decreases. In contrast, if we add resistance in parallel, then the total resistance of the circuit decreases, which allow more current to flow through the circuit. Now, this situation or this characteristics is completely opposite to that of the resistance and hence we call it by a separate and dedicated name that is conductance. Both these terms are exactly opposite to each other and there is a logic why the name resistance and conductance were given. Resistance means it resists the flow of current and conductance means it allow current to conduct through the circuit. So if someone says the circuit resistance is high, that means it will offer more opposition to the current. On the other hand, if somebody says conductance of the circuit is high, that means it will offer less opposition to the current. Conductance is denoted by letter G and in past it, it used to be measured in the unit move or you know, ohm spelled backward. But now the unit of conductance is Siemens. Now where the term conductance can be used. Conductance is useful where analysis of a circuit in which resistors are connected in parallel with each other. To find out the total resistance in parallel circuit, we would be using this formula. And this formula is actually nothing but the conductance. So basically what we are doing here is adding the conductance and hence Conductance is also said to be a reciprocal of a resistance. And why it is said like that, that I hope you understood just now. Now let's talk about the susceptance. The opposition offered by inductor or capacitor is different than that of resistance. We call it reactance. Let us take example of inductor. Inductor opposes the change in current rather than the flow of the current. And hence this type of opposition, we call it as inductive reactance. When we add number of inductors in series with each other, the total inductive reactance increases. On the other hand, if we add these inductors in parallel with each other, the total inductive reactance decreases. Now this characteristics is completely opposite to that of inductive reactance. And hence we call it by a separate and a dedicated name and that is susceptance. Both these terms, uh, reactance and set of susceptance are exactly opposite to each other. And there is a logic why the name reactance and susceptance were given. Reactance means how much a circuit reacts against the change in current. Whereas susceptance means how much is circuit susceptible or easiness offered to the conducting a changing current. Susceptance is denoted by letter B and like conductance, it is also measured in Siemens. Now, where the term susceptance can be used? Again, it is used where the circuit consists of inductors or capacitors connected in parallel with each other. So reactance in parallel, we calculate with this formula. And this is nothing but the susceptance that we are showing. And hence, susceptance is also said as reciprocal of reactance. And why it is said like that? that I hope you understood just now. See, understanding the concept and the logic is really important in order to you know, generate an interest in any field. That's why I always focus on clearing the concepts. You take all my YouTube videos or the courses that I have created on electrical machines, it mainly focuses on clearing the concepts. And if these videos are helping you uh, clearing the concepts, please like this video and also share it with the electrical engineers you know. Now let us talk about the admittance. When a resistive component and reactive component, now a reactive component means inductor and capacitor. Both 
are connected together in a circuit we can no longer analyze this circuit with the term resistance and reactance since the circuit is offering two different types of opposition we have given a different name for this and we call it as impedance now i'm sure by now you would have guessed what the term admittance means by now admittance is exactly opposite to that of the impedance again there is a logic why the name impedance and admittance were given impedance means how much alternating current is impeded in in a circuit meaning of the word impeded is to make difficult or uh, for something to move forward on the other hand admittance means how much alternating current is admitted by the circuit admittance is denoted by letter y and just like conductance and susceptance it is also measured in siemens so to summarize we have understood three types of opposition in ac one is resistance reactance and the impedance r x and z the term conductance susceptance and admittance are exactly opposite to these three oppositions conductance is opposite to resistance susceptance is opposite to reactance and admittance is opposite to impedance now if you are interested in getting the additional content and also a comparison between all these terms that uh, we have understood in this video then you can join the course on ac circuit for free using my website or mobile app i'll provide links for all these things down in the description you can go and check it out so that's all for this video guys i hope you found it useful and if it did do like that button and also subscribe to my channel if you are interested in learning electrical engineering in the easiest way thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning